Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you are uh, very frustrated and very, very um, anxious at this particular moment. It looks like you've gone through some kind of tower moment as well. There's been a lot of destruction. There's been a lot of loss uh, that you have gone through. So something, uh, you know, that you were relying on or where you've established uh, very firm foundations seems to have been completely destroyed. So you may have lost your job or some kind of, um, you know, drama has come in into your life that has caused a lot of destruction and a lot of loss. And that's left you very frustrated, really anxious, really worried. Uh, and you're very confused as to what to do next. So you're facing some kind of dilemma at the moment and you really don't know how to get out of this particular situation. Now, in the far past, you've been working pretty hard. You've got your head down, really, you know, panning for gold here. So really working late hours, really working hard. Um, it seems like there's some kind of opposition that uh, happened and, you know, there's somebody that has come against you or some situation has occurred where you've had to stand up for yourself and, you know, you're doing battle at the moment. Um, so this has happened in the last few months. So, uh, you know, uh, being on the high, by, being high alert, uh, being very, very vigilant, um, you know, and you've got, um, you're standing up for yourself. So something has uh, caused you to be, um, some kind of situation, you know, this is the tower moment, you were almost here, it's, it's almost like expecting the worst to happen, and it seems like it has happened as well, so, you know, it's almost like you were ready for a fight, and then it happened, and now it's caused a lot of anxiety and stress as well in your life, so you're going through quite a difficult period at the moment. Now, going into the future, you've got the wisdom card over here, so uh, this could be something legal coming in, but this could also having, le you know, if you had, you've learned a lot of lessons, uh, you know, and um, there's also been a lot of secrets as well with the wisdom card. So something uh, will be revealed to you uh, that will help you uh, sort out this problem. So there's some information that is missing uh, and you will be, you know, uh, made, you will be made wiser. Something will come to light for you. There is somebody that's quite significant, a fair gray haired woman uh, in your life. Uh, she might be a person of authority that you might need to consult with or you might need to speak to in order for you to solve whatever situation was. So there's something that happened in your work life that has caused a tower moment, caused a lot of destruction. Like I said, you could have lost your job or there could have been, you know, some kind of altercation at work, but it's left you feeling very, very anxious and very confused. Uh, and, you know, there are some secrets being kept. Uh, something will come to light and you might need to speak to this woman, this fair or gray haired woman, in order for you to sort this problem out. So those are the energies within that, those two weeks. So I'm just going to use the Sorceress Tarot for the main read. And I have put this deck in the description box. I shuffle to the deck. Let's see what it says. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Swords. So there's definitely been something that has happened uh, at work that has caused you quite a lot of upset. You're crying about it quite a bit. Uh, you may have lost your job, um, you know, but whatever's been going on, it's left you feeling very distraught, very unhappy. You can't seem to concentrate on anything at this particular moment. And uh, you're crying quite a bit about it. Got a lot of heads at the background over here so you know when they say heads are rolling so uh, you might have uh, somebody might have had a go at you or they might have said something that has really upset you on that work front and that has left you feeling really uh, miserable as well you could also be facing some kind of legal situation or legal decision as well because it is the three of swords uh, maybe some kind of official decision being made that has left you feeling very very upset about what is going on so what's happening with you? You've got uh, the Queen of Pentacles over here and you've got it crossed by the Empress card over here. So this is a pretty good card, a pretty good uh, combination. Uh, you know, it looks like if you keep focusing on this particular work, even though something has happened that has caused, uh, you know, a, quite a lot of upset for you, it looks like focusing on this, maybe you're considering a new job, actually. You could be considering uh, taking on a new job uh, or you could be just focusing a lot more on this job. It's going to bring you a lot of uh, happiness because it looks like there might be a promotion that comes in. So because this goes from the Queen of Pentacles 
to the Empress. So it looks like there might be a promotion coming in for you. So there might be an offer that you are actually considering at this particular moment because this woman's looking really closely at this coin. So it's like you're considering a new job of, um, opportunity or a new job offer or even changing jobs maybe after what has happened. Uh, and it looks like, you know, the coin changes to a heart. So this new offer that comes in might look like, you know, it's something that is not really even worth considering, but it's going to be something that takes you into a better paid job and it's going to be in, in a position uh, where you're doing something that you really, really love. So it's a promotion, it's an up, um, upward step from where you are at. So, you know, where you're focusing on the money and working really hard, it gets into a position, this particular position uh, that you're going to be offered is more of a management position where you can sit back and, um, you know, just maybe give orders. And it looks like that is going to bring in a lot more money as well and make you quite happy. So this is quite a good pro uh, step up. So that's coming in for you, even though whatever's happened has been quite uh, devastating. So in the past, you've got that um, queen of um, rods over here. So you have been really uh, focused on that work. Maybe you've been heading some new projects as well. You've been very much in charge over here. So taking leadership, taking control, uh, you know, um, you're quite a dynamic person. So, you know, people do like to take instruction from you. So you have been in a position on a role of authority there. So in the past few months, you've got that star card over here. So you have been looking or making plans for the future, looking into new uh, ideas. Um, you can see this woman's looking at the star. So you've got some ideas that you want to put into play, or you've had some ideas that you want to put into play, and you've been considering a, a few options as well, being very inspired uh, in order uh, to move forward. So you are making plans for the future in the last few months, you know, plans about moving, maybe plan, plans about traveling. So, so you're waiting, maybe you're waiting for some news to come in about a new job. So you have put, in out, put out some applications. This is, you know, putting out hope. So this is about putting out, uh, you know, maybe you've been putting out your CV, maybe you've been putting out feelers, uh, you know, for a new job. So you've been working pretty hard at that with that star card. Um, and it looks like you've been waiting for news to come in with regards to this new, new job or um, even a new project. Um, and it might be, you know, an international project that you're going to be doing because this is the... Um, page of um, at once. So this is waiting for news, but it'd be something new as well, something that you want to begin. And it looks like it's going to, you know, it's maybe it's a job that pays a lot more. You've got that fish in the background, which signifies the money, the money, uh, um, you know, a better paid job. Um, so you are, you've been sitting and waiting for news as well. And it looks like it's going to come in for you. So, you know, you're really looking at your finances as well, quite carefully. But it looks like there's a promotion that is going, taking you from the Queen of Pentacles into the Empress card. So where, you know, like I said, where you're working hard, but now you get into a po point where you're in a management position. And it looks like that's coming in for you. Now you've got the Moon card over here. This is about, uh, you know, making plans for the future, but not having all the information available to you. And this is about feeling a bit, uh, you know, upset or depressed or a bit miserable or even feeling a bit lonely as well. Uh, this is also about being anxious as well. So you are going through a phase of being really anxious, uh, and that's because you don't really know all the facts, or you don't really know what's going to be coming in. So, uh, you know, the moon always brings in a bit of confusion. And it also says, you know, be careful of hidden enemies. They're things that haven't been revealed to you, so, um, you know, things have not quite come to light yet. You're going to have to wait. With the moon card, it's, you know, you have to wait for the, the, the sun to come up to see things in its true light. So, uh, you know, you've got to wait. Uh, it's, it's, it's really about divine timing. Now you've got the Eight of Pentacles. So you are working pretty hard and you've been doing a lot of study as well. And you can see, you know, this is learning on the job. Uh, and, um, you know, you're very, very good at what you do. You might be specializing in whatever you're doing. It might be something that, you know, that involves mathematics because you can see this man's drawing a lot of geometric shapes over here. He's got his protractor over there and, you know, his compass. So, uh, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, it, it's very intricate, uh, it vol involves a lot of logic maybe, that particular job that you're doing. You can see even here, when this particular decision has come, there's a lot of books around this person. So you have been doing a lot of studying as well. It's upset you quite a bit. And for, for uh, you know, th this card is uh, demonstrating that, you know, you are working pretty hard and you're learning a lot on this particular job. So what's happening around you, you've got the magician. So something brand new is going to be starting for you here. The magician is about taking all these skills that you have been learning and putting it into this particular work uh, in order for you uh, 
uh, to uh, manifest abundance. So soon you're going to be pretty busy. The magician card is ruled by Mercury, and you know this is about uh, communicating. Uh, it's about traveling. Um, it's about being really, really busy and, you know, having to manage your time well. It's about, you know, good time management and focusing on that particular job using a lot of mental energy. You can see this magician is really focused on this particular snake. So, you know, whatever you've learnt, you're going to have to, you know, it's going to come in handy or you're going to be using it quite a bit and you're going to be very busy soon. Uh, on that particular job, working very, very long hours, and maybe, you know, multitasking as well with that magician card. So what you want, uh, you know, um, with this two of cups, you do want, um, uh, you know, to reach that point where you're really satisfied. Uh, you know, um, you've also been doing a lot of, uh, you know, looking at yourself, looking, uh, self-assessment really is what you've been doing uh, to find whether or not you're adequate for this particular job. Maybe even, you know, you want to make a, um, you know, good business contacts or you want somebody around you that understands you. Uh, but, you know, here you've, you're actually doing some kind of self-assessment to find out whether or not you're adequate or whether or not, you know, you have enough skills to actually get through uh, uh, to do this job. So you are worried that you may not have uh, sufficient information or sufficient training for this particular job. Maybe this is why you're so focused on getting trained up for this particular job. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Temperance card over here, you've got the King of Pentacles over here, and the Three of Cups. Now, with the Temperance card, you know, you can see she's facing the past and throwing out um, water from this um, particular jug that she's got. So you've got to stop being negative and whatever failures you may have had in the past, you've got to leave them in the past. So you've got to let go of something uh, in order for you to move forward. Now, m maybe you'll have to give up something, you know, uh, you'll have to even, uh, you may have to move away from wherever you are. So this is giving up emotions even because it's water. So uh, it might be that, you know, you have to uh, cut ties with family or move away from family in order for you to move forward, uh, for you to progress. So letting go of that past, giving up all those negative emotions, finding a balance and taking advice from people in order for you to move forward. Um, you know, almost burning your bridges of, of the past and moving forward. Then you've got this King of Pentacles. It looks like, you know, this could be an offer that comes in for you. Uh, um, you know, you, he's got the money over here, a better paid job coming in for you, uh, maybe even a job of authority that brings in a lot of money. So that is coming in for you. And there's that celebration card. So there's a job offer coming in for you, uh, but you're going to have to maybe move away from where you are, are at uh, and accept this offer in order for you to, um, you know, to reach that celebration point. Uh, it looks like it's going to pay pretty well, and it might be that dream job that you have been waiting for for a long time. But definitely the money is coming in uh, for you. It, it might be some, you might be in the field of business. It could be in the field of, um, you know, something to do with finances as well with this King of Pentacles. But it looks like this offer is coming in for you. That's going to bring in a lot of uh, money, a better paid job that's going to be able to, uh, you know, you're celebrating about it. Also, you will meet a lot new of people. So this is about, you know, moving away from an old situation, letting go of that old situation, accepting this new job and moving into something brand new, making brand new friends, making brand new contacts as well. So maybe this is why you're feeling a bit, uh, you know, upset about it because you're really not quite sure what you should be doing. But it looks like, you know, you are manifesting over here um, and you will be very focused on that particular work. So you've learned quite a lot, or you're learning quite a lot, and this is going to be the thing that brings in this promotion that comes in for you. So whatever happened, uh, you know, use it as a learning experience. Whatever this has caused, this heartbreak for you, uh, you know, maybe something, somebody has said something that you didn't want to hear. They've been very blunt about whatever they've said. You can see this woman, the card below it, this woman has uh, her hands over her ears. So maybe somebody said something, maybe they were very aggressive towards you, and this has left you pretty upset about it. They said something that was, uh, you know, something you didn't want to hear, um, and um, this has upset you quite a bit. You've got to leave that as a learning experience, and, you know, you've got to uh, continue. The, it looks like, you know, there's a promotion uh, or something that comes in and elevates your social standing. Um, into the Empress card and brings in a lot more money, whatever this new job offer is that comes in. So I'm just drawing some cards from the um, 
fairy tarot. So you've got the four of summer over here. So there's definitely a job offer coming in. And if you keep worrying about what happened in the past or dealing with people around you, you're never going to see the offer. So uh, there is something coming in, a promotion coming in. Being distracted and failing to see magic, uh, the magical opportunity. Taking something or some, someone for granted. Discontentment with life. So you are not really happy where you are at. Uh, but you, you need to be focused uh, because if you're distracted, you're going to miss an opportunity. Because even here, if you look, it's just a frog. And, you know, this frog can turn into a prince. So this is, uh, you know, don't uh, discard or uh, disregard any opportunity that comes your way. If it's a chance to move, take it, uh, because it's going to be a golden opportunity, really. And then you've got the Emperor card over here. So this is use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. So it looks like it's, you know, whatever this offer is, it's going to put you into a position of leadership. The Emperor, because you've got the Empress card over here and you've got the Emperor as well. So both, uh, you know, talking about leadership positions. The Empress talking about comfort with that leadership, so lots of money coming in. And the Emperor card talking about authority with that particular offer that comes in. And there might be some travel as well. And also, you do need to be very logical and very organized. Uh, so get yourself organized. Have a plan in place, really. Then you've got the temperance card or the balance card over here. And this is, says, takes everyone's input into consideration, merge viewpoints to create a better solution, and take your time. There's no need to rush. So you have got that temperance card over here twice. Uh, so this is saying that listen to uh, whatever advice is coming. It's very important. Whatever they're going to be saying, you, uh, saying to you is going to you know, allow you to, whatever advice you use is going to allow you to conquer whatever problems you have because you've got the lion here in this. And it's also filling the cup over here, so it's going to give you, uh, lead you in the right direction in order for you to, um, you know, get this new job or this move on. So m maybe somebody's going to come and tell you, uh, you know, that they've heard about a particular position that's open and, you know, offer, ask you to apply for it. So this is something that you do need to listen to and you do need to take that into consideration. Don't disregard it. So it might be something that's very small but turning turns out to be pretty significant. You've got the temperance card appearing twice. So there's something, some message that somebody is bringing to you uh, that you need to listen out for. And if you don't listen out for that message, you end up gonna, you're going to end up missing an opportunity. So there is an opportunity coming for promotion and an opportunity to uh, get a better job and make more money and uh, you know bring you some financial rewards. So don't miss that opportunity. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.